Hi my dear students, welcome to Students Reference. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe the channel and click the bell icon to get notifications for the upcoming videos. And now we are going to start the new chapter Geometry. And in this chapter, we are going to discuss the properties of plane and solid shapes and what is point, line, ray and line segment. In your previous classes, you have studied the basic shapes and now we are going to discuss about the properties of that shapes. Okay, We know square, rectangle, triangle and circle are the examples of plane shapes. Plane shapes otherwise called as 2D shapes and here D is nothing but dimensional, two dimensional shapes and cube, cuboid, cone, cylinder, sphere or examples or solid shapes or 3D shapes that is three dimensional shapes and first we are going to discuss about the properties of plane shapes. Plane shapes can be drawn on a sheet of paper or on a plane surface. Plane shapes are known as 2D shapes or two dimensional shapes and the properties of square are it has four sides four vertices and two diagonals and we can name this square as a b c d and the four sides are a b b c c d and a d and four vertices are a comma b comma c comma d and the two diagonals are a c and BD and in square all the four sides are equal and examples for square are this is carom board and this is chess board. A rectangle has four sides, four vertices and two diagonals. So we can name this rectangle as PQ or yes PQ, QR, RS and PS are the sides, four sides. P comma Q comma R comma S are the vertices. P R and Q S are the two diagonals. And in rectangle, the opposite sides are equal. P Q equal to S R. P Q equal to S R. And here the opposite sides are Q R and P S. Q R equal to P S. Okay. So, if we compare square and rectangle, the first three properties are same for both. That means both has four sides, four vertices and two diagonals except the last one. In square, all the four sides are equal but in rectangle, opposite sides are equal. And examples, photo frame and scale. A triangle has three sides and three vertices. We can name this triangle as A. B, C and the three sides are A, B, B, C and A, C. Three vertices are A, B and C. Examples are set square and traffic sign board. And a circle has no sides and no vertices. And in this circle the point O is known as center and a line segment from the center to any point on the circle is called as radius. And here OB is the radius. Likewise OA is the radius. We can draw another one radius C. OC also radius. So a line segment from the center to any point on the circle is known as radius. A line segment passing through the center of the circle having both points on the circle having both points on the circle is called as diameter. So AB is the diameter. The diameter of the circle is the longest distance across the circle. So a circle has no sides, no vertices and this is point O is known as center and a line segment from center to any point on the circle is known as radius and a line segment passing through the 
center of the circle and having both points on the circle is known as diameter and diameter is the longest distance across the circle you have to remember these points for circle examples clock and coin and exercise 10.1 identify the following plane shapes this is rectangle this is triangle this is circle this is square to name the triangles also name the vertices and sides of the triangles okay so name of the triangle triangle abc vertices a comma b comma c and sides a b b c and a c here the name of the triangle triangle p q r the vertices are p comma q comma r and sides are p q q r and p r and for c triangle name is triangle x y z and the vertices are x comma y comma z and sides are x y y z and x z three name the vertices sides and diagonals of the following figures so the vertices are d comma e comma f comma g d e f g and sides are d e e f f g d g and diagonals are d f e g and in this problem the vertices are l m n o and the sides are l m m n n o l o and it has only one diagonal l n and for problem c the vertices are p q r s yes, and sides are p q q r r s and p s and it has only one diagonal p r and for problem d the vertices are i j k l and sides are i j j k k l and i l the diagonals are i k and j l four name the center radius and diameter of the following circles and here o is the center and radius o c is a radius and o b is a radius and o a is a radius we can write any radius o c is a radius and diameter is a b a b is the diameter okay and for b center is c c is the center and r is the ac or cq or cp here i write ac is radius you can write any radius and here diameter is pq pq is the diameter and for problem c the center is o and radius is om or on here i write on and diameter is mn mn is the diameter five state whether the following statements are true or false a all the four sides of a rectangle are equal in length this is a false statement because all the four sides of a square are equal in length in rectangle the opposite sides are equal and b a triangle has three sides and three vertices yes it's true c a line segment from the center of the circle to any point on the circle is called its diameter this is wrong because a line segment from the center to any point on the circle is called as radius so it's a false statement d a square has two diagonals yes it's a true statement likewise a rectangle has two diagonals e a circle has no sides and no vertices yes it's a true statement so my dear students today we have discussed the properties of plane shapes and we have solved the related problems if you like this video please like share and comment and don't forget to subscribe the channel we will meet in the next class thank you